I don't think anyone that went through September of 2008 thought, ha, 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 you know, this, this shows that you can't lose. <laughs> Ten years ago this week, the collapse of Lehman Brothers set off the deepest recession since the Great Depression and led to a massive bailout by the U.S. government. In its death throes, the firm's CEO, Dick Fold, tried frantically to raise capital. One of the people he called? Warren Buffett. The world's most famous investor recalled Lehman's demise. What people didn't understand going in uh, was just the, the fact that everybody was a domino except the U.S. government, and they were very close together. So you couldn't stand outside and say, ha, 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 this, you know, this is, you know, I'm protected against this. Lehman Brothers filed for bankruptcy protection just after midnight by far the largest bankruptcy ever in this country. The one thing you don't have in those situations is time. Fear spreads extraordinarily fast. Absolute wildfire. Confidence comes back in the door one at a time, but fear wants to leave en masse, and we got to that point. It was something we hadn't seen before. Even the, the 1929 panic was nothing like this. The system had stopped. You have to remember that 35 million Americans had their money in money market funds, which at the start of the month of September, not one of them was worried about. I described it as an economic Pearl Harbor. I mean, the, except it was the economy that had gotten hit by an unbelievable force. America's economy is facing unprecedented challenges. And we are responding with unprecedented action. You have to have somebody that can say, whatever it takes, and I'm going to do it. And uh, fortunately, we had people who were, when they realized the gravity of what was happening, we were having a run on the United States, maybe a run on the world. And uh, they stepped up. And this morning, we've taken a number of powerful tactical steps to increase confidence in the system, including the establishment of a temporary guarantee program for the U.S. money market mutual fund industry. The people who caused real trouble at the top of a few institutions, I would like to see them being punished perhaps even more because it's true that in, in rescuing the institutions that needed to be rescued, that those people did not suffer quite as much disgrace and financial loss but I don't think anyone that went through September of 2008 thought, ha, 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 you know, this, this shows that you can't lose. <laughs> when I made that investment in Goldman Sachs, that was not just having confidence in Goldman Sachs. That was also confidence that we would not unnecessarily drive over a cliff without the United States government doing the things it should do. We hadn't lost anything except we just, we just froze. And you do freeze when you don't trust anybody else. We'll have others. Uh, humans will continue to behave foolishly uh, and sometimes en masse. That doesn't change. We get smarter, but we don't get wiser. <laughs>